Hello everyone, it's me, Bubba Ace. This is Let's Play Streets of Rage 2. We are now starting stage four, my favorite stage in the entire game. Woo! Sega Stadium. You can hear the background music is awesome. I like it so much. And look at the background itself. I mean, like behind the fence and all that. It's like Disneyland. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Or is it the previous stage? I have no idea. I've never been able to figure that out. But you know what? It doesn't change the fact that it looks awesome. It's like Boo inside. I hope they're not talking about Majin Boo. <laughs> anyway. Start beating down these guys with our pipe. Oh man, I love this thing so much. And ow. Those guys. I always get hit by them. Every time I play this game, I've never avoided hit getting hit by them. I've always gotten hit by them. It sucks. Either I don't see them, I forget they're coming, or, you know, they're just unavoidable. Whatever, anyway, we're done with this part, we'll proceed to the next part. Anyway, um... Well, I guess there's not that much to talk about at the moment, except if we're just gonna keep, just gonna keep beating down these guys. I mean, I guess, I guess until we get to the next part, it's when I get, there's actually all this stuff that starts happening. Oh, two guys with a pocket, that's cool. I'll take one of them and get rid of this... One has been dropped a couple of times. I really have no idea. Trash cans with an apple and money. Who throws away food or fruit and money in a trash can? That's insane. I have no idea. Anyway. Last second kick. That's not on. You gigantic brick. This is baseball! That didn't work the way I wanted it to. I guess we're just gonna beat him down with our pipe and get it over with. Hate that very last second I get jump kicked. Whatever. Anyway, he's out of it. Let's proceed to the next part of the stage, which is being inside the baseball stadium itself. Or at least a baseball stadium for that matter. A bare knuckle field, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Sega Stadium slash Bare Knuckle Field. <laughs> um, whatever. Okay, that was stupid. Anyway, continue picking down these guys with our awesomeness and our Bare Knuckle. Or in this game's Grand Upper. Why am I so used to saying Bare Knuckle? For some reason, I'm, I have a feeling to say Bare Knuckle. I mean, Japanese name is uh, Bare Knuckle, but this isn't, the, this isn't the Japanese version. I should be saying Grand Upper because that sounds a lot better. Two more guys with pipes, and we get hit by one of them. Not cool. Kick you for that. Grab one of these pipes and steer out. You're out. Okay, how about I start laying off the cheesy um, strikeout thing for the rest of this? Actually, never mind, because you know we're at a baseball stadium. I think this is the perfect time to use it. But I'll try not to uh, overdo it. Or I'd be full myself. Steer out. Three strikes. Okay, that was bad timing. That was stupid, and I'm gonna try and lay it off now. Anyway, bam! Bam! And here comes the pitch! Get out of here! <laughs> Ow. I get electrified by these ladies. You can grind up for that. Eat my fruit. Oh, that was pretty easy. Never lets us down. Too bad that the power of the Grand Upper goes down in the next game. You know, that just makes it a lot more challenging. But whatever. Anyway. Ooh, we're at the pitcher's mound. Hey, pitcher. I'm up to bat. Come on, come on. Let me pitch. Bam! It's out of here! <laughs> it is official. I've gone completely insane. Coach! Put me in the game. Big Ben. Oh, where have I heard that before? I think it's from Peter Pan where I heard that. Where I first heard of the Big Ben clock. I wonder if it's still called that. And anyway. Ow. I lost my bat! Bam! Take that. That's not cool, coach. You made me lose my bat. Even though it's a pie. Growled! 
anyway. He's out of it. Anyway, now comes... Ooh. Secret area. Elevator. Anyway, there was a brief skip because... Well, I paused it. Why did I pause it again? It's been a while since I've done this. Well, anyway, there was a transition if you didn't notice. But anyway... Ow. <sighs> Stupid jump hit. I hate that. When you're under their shadow, they can kick you. You have to know exactly where they're gonna be at to avoid getting hit. Ugh, I hate that. Anyway... More guys. Just like in the previous game, we're in an elevator. We have no health items. Although this isn't all an elevator level. There will be a boss at the end of this. But... Until then, we just gotta survive as best we can here. Triple kill, that's cool. Whoa. I guess that's one way to avoid getting hit. By the kick. Using the whole, um, slam glit. Is that really a glitch? Or is that just part of the game's design? Where if you're thrown down enemies, you avoid getting hit by those Kung Fu guys. I have no idea. And we continue beating down these guys in gold. Gold, gold diggers. Gold, gold diggers. Diggers. Sorry, diggers. I meant to say gold, gold diggers. Uh, man, I have... I am not a good commentator, and I am very sorry about that. Anyway, we died. I think that's the first time in this game I've actually died. I have no idea. Whatever, just start continue beating down these guys. And kneecap this one. And... We're done with this part already? I don't remember being that short. And still at full health. Well... Anyway, transition there to avoid the catastrophe that was up ahead. What I was considering doing was against this boss. Ow. Yes, just like the wrestler from the uh, first game. Yeah, that's one of the learned things he's learned from the previous. He's also learned to jump. And his charge attack does a lot more damage. Or at least I believe it does. Also, he can grab you and slam you on the ground, just like what Max Thunder can do. Anyway, um... What I was doing previously, well, I was figuring I would show you um, how not to beat this guy, but you know what? I just decided instead of just making myself look like a complete idiot, I decided to just go ahead and get or show you the part or the proper way to do this. Which is just move around and try to watch for a slam attack and hope you don't get hit by it. Which every time he does it, or this guy actually manages to um, smack you, the audience watching, which is a bunch of syndicate members, start cheering. I find it humorous. See, look, he misses punching me and they start cheering. They just love his signature punch or something, even if it doesn't make contact. Yeah, just move around, make sure he doesn't grab you, and just keep beating him down. But try to avoid doing the 5 hit combo or hitting him too much, or else he does a whole raw and pretty much kills you. Really, it's annoying. Also, after he hits you, then he'll do the chance to jump on you, which you can stop that if you can. Alright, and he's out of it! Yeah, he's, if you don't know what to do, he can be the hardest boss in this game. But he's not the actual hardest. There's the next one's the hardest, and I'll show that in the next time. Until then, I am Bubba Ace. This has been Let's Play Streets of Rage Dose. Ciao, peoples.